If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. Hello, right, everybody. It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm going to be going over the Team of the Week, Week 4 reveals. Everything is here. As you guys know, every Tuesday morning we do get the Team of the Week reveals. And then around 2 30 to 3 30 Eastern Time, they do target the actual release of Team of the Week. So a lot of you guys probably see this and think that they're out, but they are not. They will be targeted around mid late afternoon you guys know the deal with that so if you guys have school or work or anything hopefully by the time you get out they should be out by then there has been significant delays in the past but usually they do a pretty good job of getting between two and three ish right 1 30 3 30 ish so yeah stay tuned for that before we head into the video if you're into the channel hit that subscribe button turn the notification bell give this video a big thumbs up as always and of course comment down below let me know who your favorite team of the week was and who do you think was the biggest snub now to start off, guys, we have some updates. We have the monthly rewards. They are targeted to release on Thursday, October 7th, which is in two days from now at around 2.30 Eastern time. Win requirement based on a four weeks of weekend league, which is down below. So to get the max top 100, obviously that comes down. That's not a set number. That's based on who else plays top 100. Now, Legend would require you to have gotten 60 wins in a four-week period, which really is just 15 wins per week, which isn't actually horrible. With all the Xbox turnoff issues and crashes and disconnects, it doesn't seem likely that that's as easy as it sounds. But that would get you four Legend Fantasy Packs and two Touchdown Packs, which actually isn't horrible. Even All-Star would have gotten you a Legend Fantasy Pack, so the rewards aren't actually that bad for this. Next, guys, we have some more updates. Gridiron Guardians, Gridiron Forge, Challenges Feedback. Gridiron Guardians objective list issue. So if you guys didn't know, the objective list did reset in a lot of people, which made them restart their whole process for the free one. So they did lower the requirements for that. They corrected the incorrect jersey on Marquise Brown and Joe Thomas. Gridiron Forge 1 ended today officially. Missing solo battles game, desyncs and disconnects, server set update fixed last week. Next, guys, we have the first team of the week player, which is Travis Gibson. Travis Gibson, outside linebacker for the Bears. 85 speed, 89 excel. Actually, for an 81 overall card that's really good speed and excel maybe for a budget team some decent tackling as well we got tyree kill so tyree kill did go ahead and get the plus one which is super exciting because if you guys you guys know tyree kill is always one of the fast cards in the game so when he goes ahead and gets an upgrade you know it's gonna be really good for his card um this gives him a plus one to his power up as you guys can see here now the beauty of this card though is that typically it only gives you plus one speed on a power up increase but because he had the mcs card which was the 91 speed or 90 speed they went ahead and actually gave him a plus two on this card to make it which is a, a rule break right they never do that don't expect them to always be doing that but they gave him a plus two speed so he gets up to a 92 speed now which means he will go ahead and be super fast which makes him one of the much better receivers in the game as well which is super cool next we have tyus bowser 85 overall for the ravens 85 speed 90 excel again decent excel and speed with finesse move not a bad budget pass rusher we got cj uzoma Uzama, Uzoma, whatever. Tight end for the Bengals, who actually had a pretty good week. He did seal and ice the game against the Jaguars, actually, with the tight end screen. Uh, 85 speed. Actually, not horrible speed for a tight end. Mid-80s catching. Really bad route running. You know you know what the deal with him is. He's nothing special. Marcus Williams, free safety for the Saints. It blows my mind that they'll give a defensive player of the week or defensive team of the week player to a player who lost to the Giants offense. That is just upsetting. I'm surprised I'm going to go ahead and do that. But nonetheless... Marcus Williams, 88 overall, 88 speed, 89 excel, 88 zone, not bad, so he's always the same thing though, he's always like a lower speed, good zone guy, low hit power, he's well rounded though, Saints team teams, could, you, you could do a lot worse than him I suppose, Debo Samuel, now this is actually a really good card, who we did assume would get a card as well, 91 speed, 90 jumping, super fast, can be powered up, which means that it will be an 80, a 92 speed Debo Samuel card, with well rounded, well, well rounded catching, nothing too crazy. But the stiff arm and juke and everything behind the card is going to be probably going to be at least 90 plus, going to be insane. We got Trevon Diggs as the team of the week current hero, which actually is unexpected. He had a good week at all, but I didn't expect him to actually give it to him. 91 speed, 92 excel, 89 agility, 93 jumping, 86 play rec, 92 man, 86 zone, 88 press. Overall, guys, going to be a super fast corner. We'll get 92 speed, 93 excel. That's really good. We'll have above 90 agility, 94 jumping is really good. 87 play rec, 93 man, 88, 87 zone, and 89 press. Now, he doesn't get the press zone or play rec threshold, which does kind of hurt him, but he's going to be pretty fast, and he probably, I'd assume, have good catching and some good ball hawking skills because that's what they're kind of touting him for right now. Next, we have Delta, oh, Delta, 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 O'Neal. 91 speed, cornerback, not bad again. He will get up to 92 speed, powered up with 93 excel. 
He also has 92 agility, powered up, 87 jumping, 90 play rec threshold, powered up, he will have the 90 man coverage threshold and the zone coverage threshold. The only issue is going to be the press. Kind of looks like a Deion Sanders card in that sense, where he's going to have the zone man, play rec, and speed, but he's not going to get the press, which again isn't the end of the world, but it does hurt him a little bit, especially with how people like to play with man. Then we have Antonio Gates as the other legend hero. 87 speed Antonio Gates isn't horrible, but at this point in the game with the way tight ends we've been getting, 87 speed is, not, is nothing special. But 90, 82 strength's good. 90 catching, 90 catch traffic is really good. 89 spec, which powered up would be a 90 is really good. 90 short, 90 medium. So he's gonna be a very, he's gonna be a jack of all trades type tight end. Not gonna be the fastest. Gonna be a great catcher route. We're gonna be able to do a little bit of everything. I just wish that run blocking was an 80, which would have really just put him over the top a little bit there if they had gotten that run blocking up to the 80 spot. And then finally, guys, we have Cameron Hayward, which is our LTD. I don't exactly agree with this choice. I would have preferred a few other positions considering we have quite a few good team of the week ends already 71 speed 84 excel way too slow gonna more like more or less guys who will probably be better at defensive tackle or at least better suited for that 94 strength's amazing 93 tackle 93 play record 93 block shed 93 power move and 75 finesse move so well-rounded guys he's gonna be one of the top run stuffing pass rushing ends in the game with strength and all but guys at defensive tackle i think he'll be a little bit better because that strength will be 95 at defensive tackle with the speed and excel isn't bad at defensive tackle as well as top tier block shedding and power moves He's gonna be great defense tackle. It is what it is. I don't think he's the. I don't think he's best suited for end, especially when we have guys like you know we have like Flash Garrett and we have all these other fast ends and good ends that could really make a difference off the edge, especially in a year where quarterback scrambling is pretty dominant, and you're able to outrun ends all day. I definitely want that speed at end. But overall, he's not too bad, guys. But that is the team of the week uh, update for this week. And again, guys, it is October 5th, which does mean to expect potentially uh, some more stuff for Mud Heroes. We have Most Feared coming up. We have some stuff coming up. So expect some content pretty soon i mean I, I don't it's not gonna be that much it's not gonna be barren for much longer especially once we get into the seasonal promos where you guys know that's when it starts to really go uphill like it just starts like it just it just goes fast like i think just start looking pretty good for quite a while after that but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video comment down below your favorite team of the week of today's drop as well as the, what's, what was your biggest snub what was the guy that you really just thought didn't get a card he shouldn't have also one guy you guys might think is a snub is oh don't forget tom brady Record breaker Tom Brady for all you guys didn't see it last night. 93 overall quarterback. These aren't going to be weekly things, but there were two records broken in back-to-back -back weeks. He did break the all-time passing yards record. 55 speed. He has 91 throw power, 93 short, 93 medium, 90 deep, 88 throw under pressure, 82 throw on the run, 93 play action. Going to be an all-threshold throwing quarterback. Way too slow for my liking, but he probably does get hot route master. But I don't think he gets... He does not get gunslinger, I don't believe so. Not going to be that great considering the lack of speed. And then, guys, another cool thing here. They're doing something similar with this power-up like they did with Tyreek. They did drop a bunch of the upgrades on the power-up, so it wouldn't be too much training. And then, guys, for the final thing, we have Cordero, Cordero Patterson. He is getting a veteran's card tomorrow, which is more the reason he didn't get a Team of the Week card. He has a 91 speed, 90 excel, 90 agility. So that means he gets a 92 speed at halfback. That's not bad. Pretty good change of direction. Break tackle catching. Great third down back. But that is about it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.